Hey, I'm Timur. Here are the best fragrances in the world. What is the best fragrance in the world, in your opinion? Write it down in the comments. And hey, Timur, why are these fragrances the best in the whole world? I will tell you that after the intro. Let's go. Welcome to the best 10 fragrances in the world. And why are these the best? Because these are the best in my world. Here are my top 10 favorite fragrances of all time. And uh, yeah, sorry for that clickbait title, but um, I'm a content creator. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. And number 10 is kind of embarrassing because this is not a masterpiece. I know, I know, but it reminds me of the first time I got into fragrances and um, into that fragrance rabbit hole. So um, thank you, Jeremy, for doing that, to pull me into that rabbit hole of fragrances. Um, it's a nice hobby, I know, it's very expensive, by the way. And uh, yeah, it reminds me of my, my start of that fragrance world, you know? So this is my number 10, it's uh, Jeremy Fragrance. Fragrance. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. This is Office from Mr. Jeremy. Um, yeah, it's a woody citrus fragrance. I really like that um, bergamot in here. It's fresh, it's harsh, it's so adorable. So yeah, man, I, I can't help myself. I just like that stuff. It's uh, this is an around the fragrance, absolutely. So easy to like, you can wear this everywhere, anytime. With that kind of a dark undertone based on that Ambroxan note and Woody notes. This is just too expensive, but this is just awesome. So it's on my number 10 spot. You are not a masterpiece, but who cares? when I like this stuff. Number nine, this is a masterpiece. This is Oud Wood from Tom Ford. It's a woody, spicy fragrance. A lot of cardamom in here. More cardamom than Oud, in my opinion. It's a mainstream Oud fragrance. Easy to start with. And yeah, it has also a tiny little bit of vanilla sweetness in the background. You can wear this um, in a suit, so you can wear this um, seriously or non-seriously, you know, so this stuff is amazing for a man. Yeah, wonderful for fall, for the winter time, so I like this stuff. I really like this stuff, but um, I know there's almost a better option out there. It's Oudwood Parfum, but <laughs> the price tag is ridiculous. Man, it's way too expensive. So I will stick with the OG. Number eight. This is, I guess, a hidden gem by Roger Apex. It's so complex. I really like that. And it's not a teenager fragrance. Not at all, in my opinion. It's spicy. It's green. It's fresh. It's woody. Ah, oh, it's so complex. It's so dense. Hmm. What a nice gentleman fragrance. So James Bond could easily wear this stuff. So actually I know it's strange, but it reminds me of fear. Yeah, but it reminds me of James Bond in the woods, well-dressed and he's doing stuff. So <laughs> this is awesome. <sighs> this is a masterpiece for a gentleman. Yes, right? Number seven was my summer fragrance of the year in 24 and it's actually Machine Gun Kelly's favorite fragrance. And yes, he influenced me. This is Until Noir 29. What a wonderful DNA. It's a soft but strong scent. What do I mean by that? The scent is strong. It's very potent, in my opinion. Mm. Longevity is awesome. Siage. And 
The Sand DNA is kind of flat, it's not so bulky, you know, but it's powerful, it's airy, it's fresh, it's woody, it has a fruity fig in here, a woods in the background, a tea note, I really like a tea note in the fragrance, and also for a tiny little bit of harshness, some tobacco and hay in it. So yes, it's a wonderful masterpiece for the summer, at least in my world. Number six, smells like a date in Rome. This is Gritti, You So Vain. Also a hidden gem by an Italian brand called Gritti. And yes, it reminds me of <laughs> an Italian Aventus styled fragrance. So it's not a dupe of Aventus, not at all. But if you like Aventus styled fragrances, you can check this out. Mm. A lot of black currant in here, some red fruits, tobacco. This is so Italian, so chic, so wonderful, man. Oh, like a wonderful, dressed, beautiful Italian man on a date in Rome. Oh, this stuff, man. It almost changed my life. Almost. Just almost. Number five has everything I want from a fragrance. Longevity, sillage. Compliment factor, versatility, almost a good price tag. Yes, come on, it's okay. So, oh yeah, it's very hyped, but I don't care. Ooh, this is Dior Sauvage Elixir. And it's very potent. It has that old school touch in here, but it's remixed into today. Uh, with that iconic um, licorice note, wonderful, spicy, woody, strong, and adorable. Number four, it was limited at first, but now it's back for good. Yes, they bring it back forever. I hope so. This is absolute Aventus. I know, it's a good news, right? So it's not limited anymore, at least here in Europe. And it's the darker, deeper Aventus, less pineapple in here, more black currant, and that ah, sexy, yummy darkness in here. Yeah, a good amount of patchouli, ambroxan. Ah, wow. Oh, so, I guess this is the better Aventus. Wonderful. But expensive, yeah. Number three, I haven't been to New York in years, but I really like it there. And by the way, I even have a New York tattoo, but I will not show you that because it's under my shirt and I'm not Jeremy Fragrance, I'm sorry. Um, but I do have it. And um, yeah, I guess I will wear this fragrance when it's cold and when I'm back in man, Manhattan, yes, it's Manhattan by Orange, a wonderful fragrance for the colder days of the year. Um, this is a cozy, warm vanilla fragrance with spicy tobacco, some small pieces of coconut. This smells so luxurious, awesome stuff but it comes with an awesome price tag. Pricey, but good. And I do love it. Number two, guess the fragrance based on the scent notes. All right, okay, let's do it. Pineapple, okay, you're right. This is Crete Aventus. Yes, this is the OG. I really love this stuff. Adorable stuff, man. <sighs> this fragrance needs no introduction at all, so 
let's keep it short. This is my number two, I can't help myself. And actually this was my first niche fragrance ever, yes. And um, this is not my first bottle, so I really enjoy this stuff. I know, maybe too overhyped, but I don't care. I do love what I love and I love you, Mr. Or Mrs. Mr. Aventus. Or what, what, what? Aventus. <laughs> Number one. Imagine you are in Italy with your crush. Imagine the sun is shining, everything is wonderful. Imagine you are in Italy and you are happy. Imagine, imagination. This is my number one. Imagination by Louis Vuitton. I know the price tag, but I know this makes me happy. And this is the best thing a fragrance can do, right? Oh, oh, great stuff. Um, Mediterranean citrus notes in here, a tea note, ginger, amrixan. Oh, this stuff is just amazing. It's, it's airy, it's refreshing. So I really like this stuff. So this is my number one, the best fragrance in the whole world. In my world. <laughs> so. What about you? What is your favorite fragrance? Write down in the comments. And again, sorry for that clickbait title, but um, it is what it is. So uh, please uh, subscribe me. Yes, please. That will be great. So hope to see you soon. Have a nice day, night or morning or whatever. Bye bye, Timo.